Hello everyone, it's WizWar100 doing a recap on E3. I actually recorded uh, quite a bit before, but it was stupidly long, so... Because it was kind of unorganized and I didn't really go through it that quickly. So I'm going to go through this quickly and just give me, quickly give my thoughts on it. And, you know, just... Let's get on with the show! And, uh, oh yeah, I'm looking at someone else's list for... To see their summary of it, because no one, like, really summarized the whole E3 event of the conferences in good chrono chronological order, so this list may be incomplete, and I'll try to remember what I can that I saw and didn't see, and like looking at others and just basing my opinions and thoughts on it. And if I'm missing anything, just you know, write it in the comments and just you know, tell me what my what I missed, and I'll give you, and I'll tell you what I thought about that. So starting off the uh, Microsoft conference, oh yeah, there's also the River City Gamers uh, Rift on the EV conference conference conference. And I was there partially, so you can go check it out. Uh, there, it's not on YouTube because, you know, copyright and all that stuff and annoyances. And, uh, oh boy, I gotta do this all over again. Microsoft Conference! Alright, so starting with the Microsoft Conference, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You know, I haven't given, given a big giant crap for Call of Duty, except uh, the Advanced Warfare with the, you know, using ro robots and, like, technology and, like, just the gadgets I think is kind of interesting, like... I might check it out, but you know, don't hold your fingers, don't cross your fingers, because uh, I'm not getting, I'm not getting an Xbox One just to play this. Like, fuck that. Go play like Modern Warfare. Modern, just go play Modern Warfare One. The thing that started all, that made it so good. Uh, let's see. Uh, next one is uh, Evolve, which was, if you don't know what Evolve is, and I had to look this up uh, earlier, so I guess you could say it was a practice. Uh, recap um evolve is basically like from the creators of left for dead you have four people fighting against one monster which i think is kind of cool and you know I, I would be willing to check it out but not getting an xbox one for that so most of these games on xbox ones like i would like to try but don't want to or can't or don't want to get an x and i don't think it's worth uh it's not worth enough to get an xbox one so uh new games crackdown which is um it's not Crackdown 3, but apparently, at least Judge, at least, um, Unreal suggests, uh, Unreal said it's probably gonna be a remake or reboot of the first one, which is kinda weird, cause one, cause one started it all, two was just, like, it copied one, and was like, what the fuck, and then Crackdown, the next Crackdown, it's like, oh, it's, we're gonna remake one or something like that. They only showed cutscenes for it, uh, most of these trailers from the bigger companies are just showing cuts, or trailers and cutscenes and not gameplay footage, which is kinda annoying. But yeah, so basically, this new Crackdown is just gonna be like all the other Crackdowns before it, like literally. Oh, of course, it's an Xbox One exclusive, I think. Like, isn't it always been an Xbox One exclusive? Minus PC? Minus PC? Okay, and then uh, the next game is Halo, the Master Chief Collection, which uh, Unreal was fucking excited. Like, this actually made, made him want to get an Xbox One, but uh, it's still, reason, logic, and money still says not to get it. However, this is very convincing, and I would actually agree with it. Uh, it contains all four games, Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, um, and they're keeping, they're, they're, they're not fixing up, they're, uh, they're making the first two games, uh, in, fuck, they're snazzing it up, they're snazzing, uh, 1, 2 up to make it look on par with, uh, the, the, uh, the last two games, uh, three and four, and you can also go back to the original. And they're keeping stuff like the they're keeping the multiplayer, which uh, everyone uh, would seem to be happy about because they didn't like how they were uh, in that one anniversary. They put it with uh, the Halo Reach maps, and nobody and people weren't really quite happy with that. But yeah, you can flip from original graphics into new graphics, which is uh, pretty cool. And they're keeping all the multiplayer glitches. And like you know, if you're a fan of Halo Two, you're gonna be super excited for this. And, uh, yeah, it seems, it's, uh, it's a great collection, it seems to be a great collection. Like, you know, I would probably get it if I ever get an Xbox One, because, uh, you know, I did enjoy Halo 1. I didn't play 2, I played a bit of 3. I played Re all of Reach, I didn't play 4, but, hey. It's been a, at least a decent, a decent ride with Halo, so, you know, definitely go get it. If, uh, you have an Xbox One. And maybe this might be the reason for it. Uh, it also includes, uh... Halo Nightfall and uh, Halo 5 Guardians uh, Beta. Is Halo Nightfall that thing that Steven Spielberg is making? 
Well, you know what? Whether I'm right or wrong, let's just go on with it. Uh, let's see, the next... And they, they showed a game demo for The Division. Oh, what was it, what was it, what was it, what was it? Was it Tom Clancy's The Division? Yeah, 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 that was it. Um, it was basically... Not post-apocalyptic, but the world is in ruins, and uh, you and a bunch of other people are trying to survive and not die. So, you know, I could be, I could be up for that, but you know, it's still not convincing me to get an Xbox One. But, you know, I could probably get that experience from like many other games. Um, driving game. There's uh, other games. Uh, Forza Five, and there's this, there's this, I guess there's, there's this new car that's in it. Uh, you know, I like racing games, but not really for the realistic racing game, so, you know, this just goes out the window. Forza Horizon 2 is coming around 30, September 30th. God damn me and my Canadian dates in America. 30th of September. Uh, open World Driver, which, uh, oh, okay. Over 200 cars and, uh, 1,000 player clubs. And then the uh, next one was Assassin, Assassin, Adad and Ass and Ass in Creed. Assassin's Creed Unity, which is not made in Unity, but uh, the, the thing that I remember about this is that you can play up to four players, which I thought kind of defeats the purpose of Assassin's Creed, but, you know, I'm always up for co-op for it, so, you know, may or may not check it out. I still need to play Assassin's Creed 2, which I got and have not opened it. It's still sealed in. I only got it because it was real cheap. Next one, Dragon Age Inquisition trailer. Insert your Spanish Inquisitions and fuck you. Uh, the Dragon Age. Nope. I played Dragon Age 1, was enjoying the character interaction and some of the story, but, you know, the gameplay, fuck it, okay? You know, I, re I, re I really wanted to give it a chance, because, like, you know, Bioware made a Knights of the Old Republic, and I love Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, but love may not maybe too high of a word. I really enjoyed Knights of the Old Republic, but... Dragon Age... Fucking A. Fucking yay. Alright, next one is uh, Fable Legends. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking because, like, you know, all the games previous before this didn't live up to the hype or whatever because Peter Molyneux, Molyneux wouldn't shut up about it. Yada, 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 yada. But uh, the thing with this is now you can play uh, co-op with uh, four people against a uh, player-controlled villain. Eh, uh, maybe a thought. And we'll just have to see. But I'm not going to take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, there's a multiplayer uh, beta coming around uh, Christmas. So there's that. A new game next is uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. It's an action-adventure platformer, kind of not like Limbo, but it kind of plays like it, and it's uh, focused on the storytelling aspects of it, which, you know, we've reached that point in platformers where it's like, what else can you do with this? I mean, there's probably a bit, bit more, but, you know, I guess we're going to have to look to the uh, storytelling for it. And... All right, fine, I'm willing to accept that. I'm willing to accept that. It looks, it looks kind of nice. I, w I would like to play it. Uh, next, they showed the uh, demo of Witcher 3. Didn't play 1 or 2, so I really don't have opinions on it. It's still open world. It still looks really great. And uh, probably pretty raunchy, because that's what everyone talks about. That's the thing in this game. Uh, I would love, I would like to give uh, Witcher a try and just like, you know, see what my, own opinion, what my own opinion is on it. But it seems like it, seems like it would be my type of game. New game announcement is... The next one is uh, Scalebound from Platinum Games that Hideki Kamiya announced. And, uh... First impressions on it. Monster Hunter, play like Devil May Cry. Although, if you just play like Devil May Cry, then it doesn't really matter if it's a giant monster. But it just seems like it's a mixture of two. And I, and I hope, uh... You, you, can ride, you can get on the monster and, you know, like, stab him in the back and just do stuff like that. Kind of like in uh, Dragon's Dogma. Well, if you can ride a dragon in this game, then, yeah, I guess you could. Alright, that connect game. Dance Central! Actually, no one cares. Oh, but going back to scale now? No, I would like to check it out. Okay, next one is, uh, Sunset Overdrive, which is a zombie game. And there's co-op in it! Hey, I'm up for zombie survival co-op games, and it's coming on the 28th of September. Damn, that's too really far. And then next one is uh, by Crabcom, and they're releasing a uh, big DLC and being ridiculous about it called for Dead Rising 3, called uh, Super Super Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix Hyper. It's, it's, 
person didn't write Hyper right, they missed the Y. Hyper Edition EX Plus Alpha! Yay, thanks for being ironic, Cap Crapcom. You're not, you're still not funny, and I still despise you uh, for a whole bunch of things in this generation, and the last one, and the previous one, before you hit, uh, before we hit, like, Wii, Xbox, and PS3. And the thing about the, about this DLC is you can dress up as, uh, play. dress up as, uh, any of your favorite Capcom heroes, which, not quite stepping in the right direction, but it definitely is fan service there, except no Mega Man. Thanks for pissing people off, Crapcom! Fuckers. Next one is, uh... From the creators of Limbo, they're making a... A sequel to it called Inside, which I thi find really stupid. What's the next game gonna be called? Outside? Other Side? Next Side? Come on, what's a better fucking title for that? But, you know, Limbo was pretty fun. I, uh... I didn't finish it, but, you know, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It was an interesting take. Not an original take, but it was an interesting take on it, and, you know, just, I would check it out. Hopefully they chuck the, uh, title for something else. Uh, new Tomb Raider game. Did not play the first Tomb Raider, or, the, you know, the Tomb Raider game that was, like, a, the reboot of it. Didn't play that, and, it, and I don't really have much opinion on it. I would like to play it, so, in, in addition to that, I guess I would like to play, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, too. Okay, and then, uh... Next game is the Phantom Dust, which is a which is a remake of the Phantom Dust game on Xbox, which is a pseudo card game. Not too sure about that. Didn't look up too much on it. Uh, I guess it wasn't that successful, and they're just remaking it for Xbox One. I'll have to look more into it before I can decide. But so far, it didn't really show much. It was just a trailer of like uh, oh, funny thing that SCR brought up. It it was kind of like a Yu Yu Hakusho, Hakusho. So. You know, that, that might be a thing, and if it does play like it, then, you know, hey, you got me slightly hooked. And the next one, um... Remember, I'm looking on a list, so if I'm missing anything, just, you know, tell me. Uh... Project Spark trailer. You can make anything, and this one pissed everyone off. Everyone off. Uh, Conquer the Squirrel is in, the, is in this game, but he's not, you know, in his own game, which people are pissed off at, because it's like, oh, we want another uh, Conquer... The Bad Fur Day game. Something similar like that. So, yeah. At the end of Microsoft. Next! Oh, but also... Oh, fucking damn it, I forgot this in the last... I don't know when I was recording before, too. Ah, uh, the... There's Killer Instinct uh, Season 2 where, uh... Oh, TJ Combo is the next player, playable character. Oh, we couldn't have had that already in the game. Because, you know, we want to drag this out. And then, um... Unreal notices in the background. But if you, uh, paid attention, they're kind of hinting at, uh, Cinder coming back. Oh, but Cinder's dead already! He was officially killed off and blah 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 blah. Gamer. But, you know, you know okay. Uh, the next one is uh, Cinder. Cheap ass character that I, uh, heh, I play as well. So, there we go. If you're excited for that. Speaking of which, Killer Instincts was, uh, it was, it was pretty fun. I could get into it. But, going on to the Ubersoft, uh. Wait, did I say Ubersoft? Shit. Okay, sorry about that, uh. Trying to do this in chronological order as best as I can. Uh, the EA uh, conference. So EA, yes. So they started off with uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Whatever. Uh, and then they're doing more stuff with it and blah blah, blah freaking blah. Uh, they also did show. They quote unquote showed Battlefront 3, but it's only the trailer that we've already seen where you're on Hoth and like the snow speeders crashing through. It's still no gameplay and just please don't. Fuck it up, because I love Battlefront 2. It was fun, even though it was frustrating at points. Like when you tried playing it on the lead, and you just get your ass handed to you because the CPU just does so much damage, and they all target you. But yeah, next, Mass Effect. Didn't play Mass Effect. Would like to give it a try. Uh, so, but if you're excited for Mass Effect, and just you know, tell, just write in the comments what you think about it down below. Down be real. All right, Sims 4. I have Sims 3, but I think you needed to like. Yeah, you have to, like, install Origins to play it, and I was like, fuck that shit out the window. I'm not installing shit from you. It's not the origin of what I would do. It's not my origin, so fuck it. Uh, haven't really played much of a Sim game for a long time, but, like, you know, it, it'd be nice for, if you, if you like, like, The Sims, then, you know, go take it, go, go check it out. Now, obviously, there were, like, way better Sim games and so far, like, people keep talking about it, but definitely... You can do a lot more stuff with it. 
And it's different from uh, Sims 3, apparently. But, you know, I'm not a fan, so I can't really say much about it. But I know all the women were excited. Okay, next one is UFC. They added Bruce Lee, who will kick everyone's ass, because he's Bruce fucking Lee. Watch that review I did, which defined Zombies Revenge and uh, Dynamite Cup. But yeah, UFC. You know, I'd rather just go work out and shape up instead of playing a game where you play as other people who are in better shape than you. And or dead. <laughs> Bruce Lee. But so, next. And yeah, don't care. Uh, they're making a... This next game is Untitled. It's a game where you're in a first-person vehicle game. Where you ride planes, jet skis, ATV, wingsuits, and snowmobiles, and all that, like, high-adrenaline sports stuff. Sounds like it'd be a really, really funny, uh, game to play. Like, not playing it seriously, like, you're just laughing at the, at the stuff that happens, like, crashing a whole lot. It looks like it'd be that type of game. Would I be interested in it? Uh, I'll check it out, but, in essence, no. Also, the wingsuit looks like someone in their pajamas. Next one is uh, PGA Tour, a golfing game. And the, the big thing in here is that you can play golf over a volcano uh, uh, during a war, a battleship, and just like crazy environments. I'll tell you this. I'm going to still say no, like I don't care about this, but I'd rather check it out over this next game that I'm going to tell you. Are you excited? Hang on to your pants, because the next game is Madden FF FFL. FFL? Madden fucking football league. That's what we'll call it. NFL 15. Next, don't care, don't give a fuck. Uh, Dawn Gate, which if you played League of Legends and uh, Dota 2 or whatnot, it's a multi-online battle arena. So, it's pretty much just that. And, nah, I don't think I'd be interested in checking out, because I, uh... It, it, it would be wasted on me, because I'm just not... I, I don't want to invest my time into it. Like, maybe my sister will be, because he plays a lot of League. Aside from that, no thanks. Uh, Mirror's Edge 2. This one, I would probably be in for it, because, like, you know, I enjoyed Mirror's Edge 1, minus trying to get all the uh, trophies for uh, just beating it really well, and so forth. But uh, Mirror's Edge 2, and if you're not a Nazi brochure, you should find no problems with this game. Uh, they didn't show gameplay footage, um, let's see, they were using Mirror's Edge 1 to demo it, and it was just like, trailer cuts and whatnot. They didn't show gameplay footage, that's all I got. Um, F next one is FIFA 15! Oh, yay! Fucking sports! I don't care! You know, if you ask me whether if I want to play uh, a sports game or play a or play sports, I'd rather go play sports because at least I'll be doing something and not, you know, trying to just making videos down here. I'd probably do there, hang out, and just like kick some balls, kicking balls and ash. All right, next and last one that I can recall for uh, this one because this uh, summary isn't very good. Oh, it's the best one I found, but it still isn't very good. Is Battlefield Hardline, and there's this. Mo, where you play uh, cops and robbers, you know, good guy or quote unquote good guy. Well, actually, yeah, good guys versus bad guys, where you kind of stop the other team or escape from the other team, and it's basically it feels like there's a heavy, heavy hint of uh, an inspiration from uh, Payday. So, yeah, if you enjoyed Payday, you might enjoy this for Battlefield, and it looks like it would actually be pretty cool. So, you know, I would be up for it, and. Um, I believe there's a beta for this for PC and PS4. Either that or it was for the other Battlefield game. But that's the EA conference. They didn't uh, eat as much ass, but they ate pretty much a lot of ass. So eat ass. Next. Alright, officially we're on the Ubisoft one, so Ubisoft! Alright, starting off of the uh, Ubersoft, Ubisoft, Neversoft. Uh, start off Wolf. What was it? What was it? What was it? It's right in front of me, but I can't read it. Uh, Far Cry 4. And I haven't played any of the Far Cry games. I uh, wanted to play 3 and Blood Dragon, because you know, those seem to be like the best ones, because 1 and 2 were, had problems that... Uh, sounds like it would be really annoying, and I probably wouldn't really like, so... Hey, there's that. Um, so... It, it was in-game cutscene. They didn't really show gameplay for it. So that made it difficult to like comment on it, but hey. Oh yeah, they introduced a new villain, uh, whether it lives up to it or not. 
we'll just have to see. Would I check it out? Eh, I'll probably check it out. Just to see, because it uh, sounds like Far Cry is just gonna get better. Um, next... Next game... Just Dance 2015. Oh, freaking do, uh, just go play DDR. Let's listen to, like... At least, uh, that's a lot more interesting to, um, to play it, in my opinion. But if you don't, you like dan Just Dance, you probably have, like, five copies of it. And, uh, is this the one where they had, like... Yeah, this is the one where it was, like, you can use your smartphone to dance, and I'm just getting vibes of, like... This is, like, Michael Jackson's, uh, experience on the Wii. And it's, like... Okay, if you're into that, you can just dance about it. Uh, next one is, uh, not, is the, the Division from uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, so kind of pretty much the same thing. So nothing to talk about that. Oh yeah, just dance. You should know what I do, just not get it. Uh, the thing after the, the Division is The Crew, uh, driving in an open world or something without a, lo without a single load screen, which, you know, if you're into driving simulators, then hey! Uh, thumbs up to you. You don't have to you waste gas or anything. And let's see. Next one is Assassin's Creed Unity, where they show gameplay. Uh, like I said, I still need to play Assassin's Creed to gain an appreciation for it. But it seems just the same. Next, uh, Shape Up. This was a pretty funny game. To, and by pretty funny game, I meant just watching the people like demo it and it's just basically like a workout kind of game. Uh, there was this one game where game mode where you're stepping on keyboards. Where you're stepping on keyboards and it's kinda like it's like DDR but just not as cool. This is like uh, the thing I was thinking of was like when I saw it I was like, hey Angel Halo, maybe you could use this for your workout routine. And you know maybe it might be good motivation because you're getting scored onto it and hey it's a thought. Trying to make uh, working out uh, fun, but I wouldn't obviously do this for workout, so obviously, no, not gonna get it. Valiant Hearts, The Great War, um, it's a, it, it takes place in a, in a war, in like one of the Great Wars, and, what was it, there's a soldier and a dog that are trying to go through, get through this war, and it's uh, story driven, which, you know, I'm, I'm pretty fine with that, and I like the look of the game, uh, if you, know what if you know uh, what uh, don't starve is it's kind of in that graphic style where kind of it looks kind of neat like I would check it out like it seems like you know just an experience to go through but hopefully it'll be enjoyable is the main thing and this next one I'm not going to tell you what it is but uh no well, I, I should Rainbow Six The Siege basically it's SWAT 4 but in more modernized for like you know our time and uh, the thing about this is, before we saw the title, because they just started with gameplay footage, and uh, it was, I was like, hey, this looks like SWAT 4, but then when they got to, like, the rope rappling down to the window, I was I was like, that looks, uh, that looks like Rainbow Six. But anyway, there was a hostage situation, you do a bunch of tactical stuff, and it looks really cool, and I would be so up for playing this. This looks, this looks like it'd be something up my alley. And, uh... Yeah, at the end it showed uh, Rainbow Six Siege, and I was like, I half called it. Because I was like, hey, it looks like it's, it's like Rainbow Six. And it is Rainbow Six! Okay, so let's see, Microsoft, uh, EA, Ubisoft, uh, next one is the Sony Conference! Next. Alright, so going to the Sony, uh, press conference. Uh, they started off with Destiny, which, uh, you know, me and the guys at the uh, River City Gamers are like, uh, we, we could probably get into this as co-op and, you know, exploration and grabbing new weapons like in Borderlands and, you know, I'm up for that, you know. I'd be willing to play it, so that's definitely, uh, definitely worth, uh, I think it's worth checking out and they also are coming up with this, uh, PS4 bundle where you get a white PS4 with the game. Uh, it's 500 gigabytes, not bad, and, yeah, I already said it comes with the game. Uh, and a bunch of exclusive stuff for PlayStation. And then they showed off, and then the next game they showed off is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. A Thief's End, which, I, presumably that's gonna be the last Uncharted game, because I always thought, you know, when you make a trilogy, you should just stop at the trilogy part. And, well, unless it gets really good, then you make more games with it. 
But yeah, uh, I haven't played Uncharted 3. Uh, I haven't played Uncharted 3 yet. I beat 1 and 2. Didn't play 3 because I didn't get a chance to get it. Um, but yeah, it, it'll probably be the same game. I doubt they'll add that much innovation to it because it's more of an adventure story that the Uncharted series has been doing for a long, a long time. But anyways, next one is the the Order 1886. Uh, it's a. I remember seeing footage of it. It's kind of like a horror third-person shooter. So, that you know, that's a thought. I'm, I'm up for like survival horror games like that. Like I'm always fascinated by it. So you know, I'll, I'll give it a tr uh, check. Next one is uh, Infamous uh, Second Son DLC. Don't have the game, can't say much about it. So, you know, if you have uh, Infamous, then, you know, Infamous Second Son on PS4, then, you know, get the DLC for it and see if it's good. And uh, tell me about it in the comments. Uh, more Far Cry for a gameplay demo. I missed this, so I didn't get to see it. So, can't comment on it. Uh, another tra trailer for Battlefield Hardline. Nothing else to say about it. A tra another trailer for Metal Gear Solid V, The Fat Campaign. I am up for that because, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear Solid series, because there has been moments where it's just like it pisses me off and there are just moments I don't like about it, but, you know, as an overall series, like, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, so, gonna go check out Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming to PS4 in the autumn. PlayStation 3 and Xbox players can uh, transfer their online progress to PS4, which sounds hilarious. And interesting. How are they going to do that with the uh, Microsoft players? But yeah, I, you know, I played Grand Theft Auto 4. Didn't really. Like, I like the older Grand Theft Auto games, and you know, 4 was just like, eh, super realistic. And then 5. I haven't played 5, uh, so I don't really have much to say about it. Don't really feel too much on uh, playing it either. Well, well, people. Uh, well, I would be willing to play it with people. Though. A uh, new game announcement is in where on your on your um, your two, uh, dual joysticks you move them individually. It's like that one game, like like two brothers and something. Uh, it's an adventure game, presumably. Uh, didn't see it, didn't see it, but I did look it up. So, uh, tell me what you think about it. Sorry. And uh, oh yeah, it's. Apparently it's out for a PS4 for $9.99, you get to cross buy it on PS Vita and uh, PS3. So, you know, you can, not only that, you can go check it out. I assume if you're controlling it like that, you're probably it's probably an adventure puzzle, puzzle game too. Anyway, this one, uh... This one was pretty badass. Like, I was kind of, I was kind of excited for it when I saw the trailer for it, for uh, No Man's Sky, where... It feels like a Star Wars game. You explore planets. You or you, yeah, you explore planets. You, planets. You explore planets and you know explore space. Space. You explore uh, space and so forth. And it's just like a really, really cool-looking uh, space uh, planet exploration game. And I am so up for that. Okay, I hope it, I hope they release it for PS3 because it looks. It looks all, it looks fucking awesome, and I want to fucking play. Uh, next game, a new one, Little Big Planet Three. Nothing wrong with that. Would probably check it out. I don't have, I have not played Little Big Planet Two. I still didn't beat Little Big Planet One, so. But hey, it, uh, nothing wrong with it, and it still has been a fun experience. So check it out. Next one is uh, Dead Island Two. Ah. Uh, I was, I was okay with Dead Island 1, it definitely uh, is a lot more fun when you play with people, because when you play by yourself, it's just like, I'm just point A to point B and just not doing fun stuff, it's just like, eh. You know, hopefully Dead Island 2 is a lot more interesting. Some people said uh, Dead Island Riptide was uh, Dead Island 2, and I'm like, no, that looks more like Game of the Year collection thing, so whoever said that was really, really stupid. Uh, let's see, in Diablo Ultimate Evil Edition, uh, you get the enemies from The Last of Us uh, as enemies. Yeah. I don't really care too much about it. I'd, I'd rather play Diablo 2. Like, I want to play Diablo 2. It looks... Because I uh, never got a chance to play it. 
And the Apple 3, don't care. Uh, let's see, there was a trailer for The Last of Us remastered on PS4. It's coming out uh, 30th of July 2014 in, uh, in Europe. Well, it's getting remastered. I don't know why it already needs to be remastered, but, you know, whatever. I'm not making the games. And I still need to play The Last of Us. I'm probably A lot of you are probably, like, booing me right now for not playing it, but... Hey, tough times, and tough times in that game, too. Uh, let's see, um... Next one is Bloodborne, which is, uh... It's a game by... Hedy Taka Miyazaki, not the one that makes all those, uh, those original animes and actually like, just the anime uh, making industry, which is pretty funny. Um, creator of Demon Souls and Dark Souls, and I'm just gonna say this, fuck Dark Souls. A lot of people are gonna get angry about that. I know, that's what I want to happen. Um, but honestly, uh, I hope it plays more like Demon Souls uh, in the sense that it's more of a game. Because in my opinion, Dark Souls was more about the experience of, like, the lore around, like, uh, the Dark Souls, uh, world. And so, you know, if you're, if you're into that, good for you, okay? Uh, me, I'm just, I'm, I'm just all gameplay, you know, but story is a little important. I just hope it does, I, I just don't like it when it overshadows the gameplay so much that it's like, uh, you know, we're just gonna make it fucking hard because, uh, 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 we have tiny penises, and we can't get an erection unless uh, we're making a super hard fucking game where people die. Demons' soul is more of a game to me, and Dark Souls is more of an experience. I'm close to beating it, I should beat it, but I just haven't found the motivation to it. Actually, no, I'm just kind of lost on where to go now, so, but, anyways, I hope Bloodborne is, uh, is gonna be good. Good, and if it's good, like, you know, I'll pick it up. Aside from that, probably not. Next one, Hulk and the other Avengers will be in the Disney Infinity for PlayStation. Don't forget, Disney owns Marvel and some shit like that. Uh, Mortal Kombat X gameplay trailers. Um, just as you expect from any Mortal Kombat game, people die in horrific ways. Uh, I think uh, from one of my, uh, someone I know, many ninjas, um, they said like it looked okay. So, you know, I was. I think that's what he said, so I apologize if I got it wrong, don't kill me many ninjas, but, you know, if you love Mortal Kombat, you got Mortal Kombat X. Next one, Batman Arkham Knight trailer. I still need to finish Batman Arkham Asylum, because I'm a slow-ass player and I gotta explore every nook and cranny of the Arkham Asylum. So, but hey, uh, from what I've heard, it, sh it should be like, you know, the same thing, because, uh... Not that the gameplay didn't improve, but it's pretty much the same thing, like in Cities and then Arkham Origins, and then just like, you know, this is probably gonna be the same game too, but just a whole new story, and stop. So, would I be excited for it? Uh, I'll check it out once I've de dealt with the other Batman games. Alright, next one. Magicka 2 is coming to PlayStation. PlayStation 3 or 4, cuz... You know, I would, I would, I want to play Magicka, and I have the game, but running it is, is fucking abysmal, okay? Like, I thought it would be an easy game to run, but no! No, it isn't. It's a, it's a hard, it's a hard game. It's a difficult uh, game to run, like, smoothly. And, you know, I, I need to upgrade my uh, computer somewhere. Like, like, I got, I, like, I'm able to play it now, but still, it's just, like, it's abysmal to run, so... Yeah, but Magicka 2, I'll probably check it out after I play Magicka 1, and hopefully it just runs smoothly. This is why I'm all, like, you know, I'm more of a console guy, because, you know, things usually run smoothly without having to, like, upgrade your, your rig shit. A booze is, um... Oh, no, not a booze, it's Abzu, A-B-Z-U. Uh, this seems like a relaxation game, which, uh... That's okay. It's it's those game. It's one of those games that is just purely an experience. It melds you out. It's just for you to relax. No stress. No whatever. It's just like you know. It's for you to calm down. So, looks pretty neat. It ha I um, I would check it out, but I wouldn't get it. Uh, but it has its place. Maybe not necessarily for the gamers, but it certainly has its place. Like you know, I probably would just play it to just mellow myself out and just be like. <sighs> Alright, next one, and a lot of old fans of uh, Tim Schafer will be excited for this, is Grim Fandango HD. Grim Fandango. 
Yeah, sounds like a uh, Django or something, but no, no, I know what it is. Relax. Uh, I haven't played uh, Grim Fandango, but I heard it's one of those like uh, games that's really unique and really good. So one of these days I'll play it. And since they're you know making, and since they're making uh, they're making they're making a HD version for PS4 and Vita. Hey, I'll get a chance to play it in HD. And maybe they'll fix up a few things about it, like you know glitches or just speeding parts of it. Uh, but who knows? Uh, I'd definitely check it out. Cause you know, it has such a reputation, it's like, well, we'll just have to see. Or maybe I'll just piss all over it, because I suck at it. And the other stuff, um, PlayStation Network, now you can have, and I can share to YouTube, and now you can do this, do that, blah, 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 blah open beta, and stuff, it's, uh, this part, this part has nothing to do with games, so I'm gonna skip it. So the next, and last but not least, Nintendo! Nintendo 64. Uh, well, you'll be saying that in uh, 2064. But uh, Nintendo, they um, apparently are the winner of the E3 uh, conference, which uh, I was doing in the previous uh, recap. Is uh, definitely seems like the case. It definitely seems like a case because most of these games I want to play and get. So, uh, once again, looking at a list, and, it's, and this one I know in particular is not is incomplete, so this makes it somewhat difficult to uh, get an accurate uh, listing of it. I hope your body is ready for this. Anyway, so this is going to be like not in order because I'm looking at a list. Uh, new Wii U game, The Legend of Zelda, which looks fucking gorgeous. Okay, it looks so fucking gorgeous, like uh, rainbow lasers are like shooting out of my eyes, like just oh. It's, it's really, really big and open world, and it's just like, you know, I want to play it. It looks so fucking cool. And it looks so fucking gorgeous, too. Like, I want to like I wanna play it. It just looks great. So, yeah. Thumbs up for that. Kirby and the Rainbow Cor uh, Course. Curse. Uh, well, I guess if you put an O there, it'd be a course now. Uh, so make sure to keep your O's in your curses. Uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Mm. I haven't, like, played a Kirby game since, uh, shoot, I have? I don't know, I haven't played much Kirby games, like, since, uh, Super Kirby... Kirby Superstar, uh, Ultra. And that was kind of it, because Kirby, uh, Superstar was fucking great. You should all play it. But, uh... And I didn't play Epic Yarn, because, you know, it looks like a piece of crap. But Kirby Rainbow Curse, it looks like it's going back to its... Origins, which is good. So, if anything, I oh, I'll give it. A, I'll check it out. Another uh, new Wii U game, Mario Maker, basically a level creator. Uh, it has its place. I'm just gonna say that. Like, if I don't like it, that doesn't mean it's bad. It certainly has its place because people love making levels, and you know they'll do a bunch of cool, crazy stuff with it. So, it has a place. Will I check it out? Nah, not really. But no, you know, I'll take a look. Maybe if I have something sadistic I want to make. Because I'm evil. Next is Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. You remember that one mini game in, or not? This one, um, this one little thing you can do in uh, Mario's uh, Super Mario 3 World, where you can play as a Toad, where he goes to track all these stars in like the set puzzle sequence. Um, yeah, you get to play more of that now. But I thought that kind of defeats the purpose of it, because like those those gameplay moments were like little small breaks in between each world like I I enjoyed it don't get me wrong I really enjoyed it but I wouldn't want to play an entire game of it because then it would get really tiring and kind of destroy what made it so special but hey the fans want it and you know they got it it's probably gonna be a fun game I'll definitely check it out but uh, I'm gonna stick to my prediction that it will probably get really really old because you're just playing just Captain Toad unless they add something like a whole bunch of new stuff uh, then there's another one, Splatoon, which is uh, an interesting take on um, shooters. Because instead of uh, just, you know getting the most kills and stuff and like most shooters, you're trying to uh, paint the world and whoever think of it as like marking your territory, such and whoever marks the most territory with their paint color wins. And that's pretty cool. All right, that, that's a very unique way to go about with your first person, or not your first person, your uh, shooter game. So. Definitely would be up for that. I'd be, I'd definitely be up for checking that out. Uh, announcements: uh, Mario Party 10 confirmed for Wii U in 2015. 
don't give a fuck. I have Mario Party 2, uh, I downloaded Mario Party 2, uh, through Club Nintendo. Oh, just kind of mistake with that, because, uh, the Mario Party games, uh, come on, Mario Party 10. Jeez, how many parties are you gonna have? And from what I've heard, uh, 8 was probably the last one, because 9 sucked ass, and, uh, 10, they're hoping that it doesn't, like, fail. But, but moving on to the next game. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, they showed that you can play with your Miis, which, uh, is an I which was something that I actually, like, uh, was thinking about when I was playing Smash Brothers Brawl, like, uh, oh, what if you can play with your Miis? And it's like, oh, there it is, you can play with your Miis, that's cool. That's cool, that's definitely cool. And then there's, um, the whole thing with the Amiibos, where you scan, you, it's these little figures, like, like, you know, a figure of Mario, you scan it over your, uh, Wii U gamepad, and it summons Mario in the game to help you, which is pretty cool. Cheap, but pretty cool. Um, and I think that's pretty much what they all showed for uh, Smash Brothers. And, uh, oh, they're having the GameCube controller adapter launch outside uh, the, the Smash Brothers game for 20 bucks. I would say definitely everyone get get that, because, you know, just you get to use a GameCube controller. And that's great, because uh, now I don't have to get, like, Wii Motion Plus, plus the precision and so forth. Uh, let's see, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. <sighs> don't give a because, you know, I'm just, I grew out of Pokemon after, ironically, Ruby and Sapphire, and then I came back in Pokemon X to, like, you know, check to see if there's anything new, and, you know, it's just the same old Pokemon, it just never goddamn changes, it just remake, and now they're just remaking it, I'm just wondering what's gonna go on now, you're gonna have a remake of a remake of a remake? Just, like, pfft. Nah, I don't care. Maybe I'll check it out just because, you know, I did enjoy Ruby and Sapphire for what it was. So next one, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I got a chance to play uh, Xeno... Xenoblade Chronicles, or just Xenoblade. Um, it, it played like an MMO to me, and you know what? I've played enough MMO in my time, and I just didn't care about it. And people were talking about like, oh, it's such a fantastic, like, great game, blah, 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 blah. I guess they're all just for the story, and like I said, gameplay over story, although there are exceptions of RPGs, and this is technically an, an RPG, so, you know, I didn't get to play too much of it. We'll just have to see. Next is, um, the original Bayonetta game is included, will be included with Bayonetta 2 on the Wii U. Is sweet and I am so up for that I'm going to I'm definitely considering getting it just so I can rub it in the face of people who are like but Bayonetta 2 should be on every other guy on the bar all of that bar why if I should be on this no fucking Wii U if I know who owns a Wii U oh screw you if nin, nin, if it wasn't for Nintendo you wouldn't be getting Bayonetta 2 all right and the only reason I'm saying about the whole shoving in their face is like it's like it's such a it's such a stupid, like, complaint to say, because it's like, oh, Nintendo got here first, they, or, you know, Nintendo got there first, they got, they, you know, they put up the money and they do all this stuff. They deserve, they deserve to, like, you know, only have it be exclusive to their system, and people are just, like, bitching about it. It's like, how fucking stupid are you? I mean, even angry Joe Schmo even complained about it. Like, how, how fucking stupid is that? But yeah, I'm gonna get it. Because, uh, you know, I did want to try out Bayonetta, but I didn't want to get the Xbox or PS3 version. Because, you know, the Xbox one was the most optimum one to play, but I don't have it. And I didn't want to get the PS3 one because it was not optimized for it, which was stupid. So, and, uh, hey, well, um, you remember Ninja Gaiden Sigma 3 on PS3 and, uh, I think Xbox 2, where it, like, completely sucked ass, but when it got, like, released on the Wii U, they fixed most of the problems, and it was so much better there. So, that's that. Pretty much is probably gonna say a lot. Next one, Super Smash Brothers uh, 3DS is pushed back. Blah 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 blah. Okay, we can go past that. Uh, I talked about the amiibo where you can scan your, uh, your statues on your Wii U gamepad, kind of like Skylanders. Okay. Um, let's see, Hyrule Warriors. Most people are gonna say it's Zelda and Dinosaur Warriors combined, and that's it. Which you know it's true, but I'm still gonna check it out because it's still like. It still contains the uh, Zelda elements, like the opening the chest, and actually that's pretty much all I saw, but you get to play as other characters that, that, uh, that I know, like Zelda, Mina, that one character from, I think, the uh, Skyward Swords or whatever, and, uh, you know, the hint, the Ganondorf is in there, probably gonna go kick his ass there. See, um, 
it's, it's really annoying with the Dynasty Warriors game because, you know, there's Dynasty Warriors Gundam, which is obviously for the Gundam fan to play to destroy a whole bunch of, like, robots, which is what they do in the show. So, you know, it, it fits right there. Fist of the North Star for fans of Fist of the North Star, like me, and just kill a whole bunch of people and, you know, that that was what it was. It, was, it, was, it, fit, the, it fit the criteria. And now, Hyrule Warriors. Um... I say we should, I say like, uh, I, I, I will give it a chance because like, um, you know, the Zelda games, they've gone through like a few different combat systems, like the overhead, three combat, now you got Dynasty Warriors combat with it, and I want to see how it turns out, so I, I would definitely check it out. Uh, I definitely hope there's co-op too, like, I, I didn't give a fuck about the original Dynasty Warriors where you play as like the Chinese Warriors and stuff, it's just like, I didn't, didn't care. <laughs> That's ironic uh, being that I am Chinese. Half. Uh, blah, 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 I already talked about that, but you know, we talked about that. Oh, they fucking, like, sh they either teased or showed a uh, Star Fox, and when I heard about that, I was like, oh yeah. I, and I just hope it doesn't suck, because, like, you know, I like Star Fox. Star Fox 64 was great. It was a lot of fun. I didn't like the 3DS game, because it just didn't control that well. Because uh, uh, one of my uh, buddy uh, Henry let me try it, and it was, I was just like, "It is the same game, but it also..." I didn't like the way it controlled. Uh, controlled, and you know, I always uh, I will have fond memories of the um, Super Nintendo the Star Fox. Star Fox DS was pretty all right too. Star Fox Assault was um, wow, it was nice looking, but it, it, gee, sometimes it can be a uh, real bitch. I didn't like the ground uh, traveling and so forth. Uh, there were some other games too, like there was the Devil's Third, and like there are some mature games on it that this that this list didn't show off, and I know it's on some probably some other list, and I'm probably missing it. And if you can fill in the blanks, please do down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, Nintendo definitely has the winning streak in this. Okay, they have definitely won the E3 uh, conferences, like showing all like really cool stuff, and like you know I'm I'm excited for it. Uh, PlayStation. PlayStation, PlayStation will probably be second place, and take for it what you will with uh, Microsoft E3 or EA and uh, Ubisoft. They're just uh, they're just somewhere there on the in third place, struggling or competing with each other for it. So, but yeah, definitely Nintendo seems to have done the best showing of E3, and I'm just gonna be excited for it. So. In the comments below, like, talk about what you're excited, what you were excited at at E3, and, you know, what you're looking forward to, and all that good stuff. And if you haven't, subscribe, like, and I already told you about the commenting stuff, but just, you know, just, let's talk about E3. And maybe I'll cover the, like, some other stuff that I missed in a, in a different video. So until then, uh, stay tuned for more as I work on videos and get things done. Bye-bye. So what do I think of Shea Kong, the Forever Man? More like viewers and I'm the reviewer. And today, we're gonna go take a look at the Sega Genesis that I got when I was in America. Did you know playing a healthy dose of puzzle games is actually good for you? Which is why we're gonna go take a look at the puzzle games on the Sega Genesis, columns one and 